complaints to the Division of Professions and Occupations are submitted online. This is the most efficient and effective way to ensure all necessary complaint information is submitted to the appropriate board or program. All complaints are reviewed and responded to. A few terms to review before going step-by-step step into the complaint process. A complainant is the person who submits a complaint, either on your own behalf or for another person. If you submit a complaint in our system, you are the complainant. A respondent is the person or business the complaint is against. This would either be the licensee or the unlicensed person or business. Before filing a complaint, we recommend that you register an account so that you may track your complaint, answer any follow-up questions the board or program may have, and display the history and status of any and all complaints you have ever submitted. You will receive an acknowledgement letter with a case number serving as confirmation that the division has received the complaint once the complaint is posted. A tutorial video on how to register an account is available at dpo.colorado.gov. Please do not begin the complaint process until you have all documentation about your complaint available and are ready to upload onto the online form. Examples of documentation may include a police report, witness information, personal statements, billing, x-rays, second opinions, pictures, or news articles. If your complaint references attachments that were not uploaded, a member of the intake team may contact you for these missing documents cited in the complaint, which will delay processing the complaint. If there is additional supporting information after the complaint has been filed, please contact the appropriate board. Do not file a second complaint. To begin the complaint process, visit dpo.colorado.gov and access the File a Complaint Against a Licensee box. To start your complaint, select the File Complaint button and search for the licensee, known as the respondent. Begin by entering the first and last name of the professional against whom you are filing a complaint and corresponding license type. If no entry for the respondent is found, you will need to select on the Switch to Manual Entry button and enter the individual or business's information. Once you have located or entered the respondent's information, there is a button located on the bottom of their public profile. Select File a Complaint. You will then be prompted to select on the respondent's license number. Respondent information will then automatically populate to the online complaint submission form. You will then be prompted to enter your information to include contact information and whether you're a business or individual filing the complaint. You will also have the option on that screen to check the box to file anonymously. The person or business that you file your complaint against typically will be provided with a copy of the complaint and all other documentation you provide. If you provide any contact information anywhere on the complaint submission form, such as your name or contact address, your complaint will not be treated anonymously regardless of selections on the previous page, even if you've checked that you wish to remain anonymous. Also, please note that no status updates on cases will be provided to anonymous complainants. The complaint submission process continues with your providing as much documentation as possible regarding possible violations of a particular practice act. We realize that at times this may be difficult and some subject matters may be hard to discuss. Answering fully and completely all of the questions in this complaint form will provide the division the best possible opportunity to review and determine if any allegations constitute a violation. While anonymous complaints are accepted, we strongly encourage you to include your name and contact information with your complaint so boards or programs may ask follow-up questions and confirm additional information. While much of what is needed is included in the online submission form, each complaint and allegation is unique and many require additional communication with you to ensure everything is collected. If you have chosen to file anonymously, we still appreciate the time you have taken and will work to determine appropriate actions based on what you provide. If you choose to not register an account, be prepared to complete the complaint fully and submit as you will not be able to return and finish the complaint if you leave the form before submitting. Depending on your situation, this process can take between 10 to 30 minutes or possibly more for an extensive submission. Registered users may start a complaint and finish at a later time. 
When filing your complaint, please provide as much information as possible to allow the board or program to identify the issues and respond appropriately. The more detail provided will help ease the investigation, including timelines. After reviewing the information you entered, select Finish Process. So, you filed your complaint. Once the complaint is assigned a case number, you will receive an acknowledgement letter via email or physical mail with that case number serving as confirmation that the division has received your information. A determination is then made by the board or program on whether a violation has occurred or whether the complaint should be dismissed. Cases fluctuate in terms of time necessary to reach a final decision, but complainants are notified by email or mail at the time a case is closed or dismissed. If disciplinary action is imposed and you are a known complainant, you will be provided with a copy of the document, which will be posted against the respondent's credential on the division's website. If you do not have a computer and can't file online or prefer a paper form, please contact Dora underscore DPO underscore licensing at state.co.us or call 303-894-7800 so that one can be sent by mail. Information on possible disciplinary actions available to boards and programs is available at dpo.colorado.gov slash file complaint slash FAQ.